Is that it, John? Hey? Is that it? It is. Whee. We've got a cave. What's in the cave? Um, darkness. He's a big one, isn't he? There's one there. Yeah, well, don't touch the sides and you'll be fine. There's a the bigger one up there. Yeah. One, do it themselves. Put one back up there. Little stack of plastic skull up here, look. Alright. Lovely. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit quiet in a minute. Oh. You're not pushing an amulet down that hole, are you? <laughs> um, it's like a weed mine. <laughs> but it does go down. It goes right down, doesn't it? Um, I can't quite see. It might be dead end. John, do you want to give this camera to amulets and you might be able to see a bit better with the infrared on it? It's up to you if you can. Amulet, do you want to carry the camera? You might be able to see with the infrared on it with the screen. Okay. I'll use the torch. Do you want me to shine the torch or are you okay with there? Yeah, I just point it, do I? Yeah, yeah. on the screen. You can see what, what, what's further. You couldn't get. Couldn't get you'd struggle. Yeah. Somebody, perhaps a child or somebody small, not too sure mm. if it's sort of caved in yeah. uh, earlier on. No, it looks like a dead end. Right. Possibly, possibly. No, it narrows. Well, what I can see, it's narrow, but it. I'm not too sure if it's caved in at some stage. No, uh, okay. It'd be very narrow, no, it really narrows off. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to sit for a bit. See what we pick up. There you go. Ooh. There you go. I know you haven't zoned in yet, but do you feel yeah. this energy here? I zoned in sort of before we came and all these sort of shots of the past were all coming in and the over, though I'm not particularly feeling it at the moment, but the overriding feeling, essence of the place is it was obviously a hiding place, but people were in fear, I, I, you know, um, and there were little snapshots and snippets of different scenes were coming through. Um, I think it goes back, I think this has been used for quite a few hundred years, if not, you know, it's been here for a hell of a long time, not just a few hundred, hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, and I can see people in very basic um, clothes that, you know, I mean, really basic stuff like sacking and just uh, animals, that, you know, I mean, we are going back a long time. So we're going back quite a few hundred years in this vicinity. There's also 
just like little snapshots of different things why people have used this um, it has been a height like I said the, the underriding um, sort of feeling has been the fear element in each scene and one in particular is when uh, some women have been hiding there's been something going on outside um, it's, a bit, it, it's more it, it's a sort of like an ambush or something uh, you know um, a fight uh, between sort of more tribal type stuff going on um, and the women are coming in here with the children um, there, there's a girl who had a miscarriage in here I am um, I got that I've got the taste and metallic taste in my mouth when 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 there's anything of that nature sort of comes in with it there's fear or blood and, the, and that taste is coming in now so a girl um, quite young girl has come in, come in she wanted to hide it she did miscarry it was a boy and it did you know she lost it um, I've, I've also um, the, the one that's really quite strong that's coming through are two gentlemen uh, one's a landowner um, farmer landowner called John and he's smoking a clay pipe and I and these are the two gentlemen who um, are more strong they're, uh, they're a bit later um, sort of coming around about 1700s uh, he's got a nice uh, sort of looks like felt black hat on um, but he's quite well dressed and they're discussing this is where they come to discuss I think the booty from down on shore he's sort of far, farmer landowner type guy very well dressed short stocky um, and the other chap can't quite, he's more wispy, as I'd call him, with wisp, uh, he can't quite grow a full beard. Um, but they're talking, and this is where they come to meet, and it's all in secret, for obvious reasons. And, and the, this sort of place is, is ideal for, for them to di discuss how they're going to disperse, or whatever gets pushed up on shore. Um, or what they manage to salvage, or or how they can sidestep um, the authorities. They're telling me, um, but they're very cautious. They, there's somebody else in the triangle. They're telling me, um, I'm getting the gist because they're the ones who are coming forward more. I, they, I feel like they're connecting, um, but they're, they're fearful. They've got somebody else within their party that they they work with, collude with. But they're, they're not too sure because he's a bit of a drunkard, an alcoholic. Um, he's a bit of a loud mouth. They're frightened that he's going to, um, uh, uh, you know, let the side down. He's going to land the minute with his um, with his free talk, as they're saying. But this, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting the I'm picking up that this has always um, the energy within this place is. Um, one where uh, people have come, it's a, a good hiding place, but where people have had a slight essence of, of that fearfulness within them. Does anybody else, John, would you like to put anything in? Uh, I've just felt like someone's come through the, the gap. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw somebody coming through the gap, didn't I? Where they've gone, don't they? I think, you know, I have all these little snapshots of things coming in and they're all like little scenes and it, it, it's, um, it's held within the fabric, the, within the, the, the stone. Um, but the two gentlemen are, are, are very strong, they're probably it's a bit latter energy. Um, and they used to sit here. I can see him, the, the Landover, very strong, very stout, very well dressed. Um, it's got a little clay white pipe, got breeches, very well dressed. He doesn't particularly like coming down here because it would mess his clothes up, you say, but it, he, um, it's work that needs to be done. It's the only place where they, they can come, even in the, the pub. pub um, that they would be found out. The name John's sort of coming in. I think that feel that's his name. 
that they could keep getting Ledbury, so whether or not that's a surname. Something we could look into, Ledbury. And the only other, um, there is a woman, she, she keeps herself to herself. She's a bit of a, um, she, she, she lives quite, she would have lived quite near here, but a bit of a vagrant really, but she's, um, she, she collects the wood. She would have been, um, um, she would have sold the sticks um, for, the, for lighting the fires. And that was her job. That's how she made her money. And I think she, she's quite a uh, broad woman, very short, um, very rough and ready in her appearance. But she used to, um, you could see her walking through the paths here, come all weathers, collecting the wood. And on many occasions she would have great big bundles um, that were, she had thick cloth like sacking round them and she even wore, you can see on her feet, um, she, she's got sacking, um, she's got no shoes as such, but sacking on her feet and there, and, and you, you can see that, that, that there's binding round, whether it's string or something that, that binds the sacking on her feet, she's very poor. Um, She, she would walk here and the two gentlemen would know her but they know she, she would not speak um, she was a reclusive um, and she knew that it was not in her best interest she was blind to not literally blind but she would not say um, you know what she saw coming the comings and goings in in here she kept um, away, she, she wouldn't release that out. So were goods stored in here or was it just a meeting place? I feel more of a meeting, there probably could have been um, small goods perhaps further down here but as a whole I don't feel it is, it's not hidden enough. Um, I'm not saying um, in previous years things weren't hidden. It probably, I, the feeling I'm getting is if it, anything was hidden, it, it was very quick. They wouldn't have kept store. It wasn't a storage place. Um, it would have been in and then taken further away to, to better. Um, it's a bit uh, uh, open. It's too near um, because the road, although the roads probably would have come back because of the the roads falling away but it's it's too I feel open I think if they stored anything here it would have been in and then gone mm. and dispersed mm -hmm. it, it's too open it's not okay. hidden enough that's the feeling I'm getting they're shaking their heads so the initial uh, put down and then dispersed any idea of the kind of um, goods they'd have I'm getting a very strong tobacco. Um, they obviously um, they're showing me barrels. Is this brandy or rum? Definitely tobacco, possibly tea, and any booty. If there was any, you know, because oh. obviously there would have been goods of some description, whether or not they were carrying booty, or, uh, their gold, or, or whatever. But there would have been some salve of or if ships came up ashore and they were wrecked, then, then um, obviously there would have been certain goods that they could hide or take off. There have been times, I think, that it has been a place where people have been very, very fearful, but on the whole, and I, I think in particular the women that I can see cowering and, and in, in, in the caves, but this is going back many hundreds of years with the children because there's fighting or something going on outside. 
um, but I think there's fear, but different elements of fear, you know, being fear of found out, okay. being fearful of, um, of the miscarriage, hidden birth, um, so there's different varieties, but the overriding element I feel here is, um, you know, the, not only the hiding place, but there's an element of fear running okay. through this place. Is there any um, connection, do you think, with um, the French? With the booty, perhaps. Like um, in, you know, there, there would have been ships that came through. Um, but, and as soon as you said that, I can see some soldiers. Yeah. The strange thing is, as soon as you said the French. So I'm getting the soldiers and the hats at the moment. Um, I'm not sure what... Uh, I'm not sure what... I can see them, but I don't know who, who I can tell you what they're wearing. Got white, bit of a band, but I don't know if that's French. But the hats here, um, um, I, I'm not a good drawer, but I, I could, if you had a book, I could point it out. Uh -huh. um, with waistcoats um, and boots, um, and jo j leggings, I think we're, I'm not sort of sure the era, but they're showing here. They've got rifles. Yeah. Um, I, I can see them. If you had a book, I could point them out. Um, I just got Spanish, I think. Spanish, okay. Mm. See, this is the uh, area that. Uh, Did they invade? Yes. Right, okay. Yes. I was just about to say that. Mm. This area is the only area that the, Span uh, that the French actually okay. invaded, uh, and they were in the town for a few days before oh, the, uh, okay. the locals um, got together and mm. sorted it out. Are you picking up any kind of rock fall here? A rock fall? Hmm. Like someone's in kind of like this and things have just caved in on them. It's got a vision of um well, strange people it saying it's just 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 standing talking about and just, the whole thing just collapsed in on them. Well they I mean, up there it possibly has, because it's so tiny and it mm. does look like it's been, um, you know, cut through. But you, I could probably squeeze through, but I'd be a bit worried if I could squeeze back out again. But um, it's, um, you know, I don't know up there if it would have been a lot bigger. Mm. It just seems like things are just... Mm. Steve, what you got? Yeah. What are you picking up over there? Nothing, it's just temperatures for them. It's just one minute it's hot, mm -hmm. next minute it's cold, next minute it's freezing. That's there's really a draft coming down from that end. Mm. Standing there just now I could feel it coming mm. all around me, just cool air. Yeah. I feel it was actually coming down, I would have just sank around me, but mm. it's probably coming from the outside now. Or off the walls it could be. Mm. It's very cold in yeah, which day could be like a larder, isn't it? Mm. Were there any executions? Um, yeah, I think there yeah, was. There was. I could see the shooting. Be good to check that. There were executions. I can see it. In the cave. No, no. Outside. Bit. Well, I don't know where, but I could see execution uh, by um, shooting. I think well, that's what they're showing me. The firing squad. Well, I see it was by There was a lot of that in Newtown, but I don't know if it's the same battle. Right. There's a lot of uh, um, raping and, and all right, kinds of nasties really. over there. For some reason I've just got a little vision of mm -hmm. all the guys with their guns mm -hmm. lining up in here, hiding. Right. They just come in and they just hide, just standing, waiting. Soldiers? or mm, Soldiers with the guns. Fixed bayonets I had, little fixed bayonets. Mm. Oh, those long, thin bayonets, mm. like a spike. Yeah, yeah they're on the end of it. Anybody getting any? Young boy. Mm -hmm. Seems like he's leaning on the wall looking in, a bit scared to come in. Maybe that's what I saw earlier. Mm. Kind of a little bit mischievous. Like he's here to play games. He's got a name. 
Oh. The first name I got was Tommy. Okay. So if Tommy would like to just don't be fearful, Tommy, if you just want to come forward. Just come if you wish to speak to us or give us a message or a sign. We're not here to harm you. I just want to come forward. Let Paul know what you're, what you're here for. Are you frightened to come in? Is that why you're standing by the door? I feel like he's saying, no, you come out to me. I mean, mm. you pick up that little girl and connect it to um, Tommy. She's she's bad, but she's um she looks um she looks like she's just got a little um cotton dress. She looks a bit you know, she hasn't got a lot on for this for any time of year. Sorry? Oh, that sounds really good. It's a lot I can't mm -hmm. quite see it, but she looks a bit bedraggled. Mm. Um she's um Oh, he is a really sort of hurts like high pitched in my ears. Right, Jane, but she's sobbing every now and then. It comes up, it's gone. While she's hiding, or doubled up. I can see it. Yeah, I can see her right over, like the, really down, right, right down yeah. like this. And then she stand up, and but she, her hair's all straggling. Can't quite see what colour it is. She's not diddy young. But she's, it's difficult to say because they were so much smaller, weren't they? Let's see if we can get a sense of why she's um, crying. It's a lot of corks in these rocks up here. I wonder if it's just imprinted in the walls. What, what's that? Sorry. What we're picking up. Section of the walls and a tiny room or something like that. Well, all the different scenes I'm seeing have mm. been like retained in, that's what I'm getting. The only two didn't actually come through, but I got the essence of what was going in with them. The little girl, I think we're picking up, like I said, I think these are a lot, lot older than probably most people envisage. I think we're going back hundred, you know, more than three, four hundred years. I think they go a lot back beyond there, because mm. I'm seeing people in sort of like skins and, and I don't say stone neck, but in sort of tribal stuff. Yeah, settlements and religion. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up, but that there was that element, but like I said, all these little snippets where people were fearful for what either hiding or um, not for their lives necessarily, but could be, potentially. But the little girl, I don't know if she's lost or... or but you're, you're right spot on with that because... Well, I've just picked up that mm. um, it was dark in here. The mm. girls come in and the lad outside mm. won't come in because mm. of the dark. But she's... I just feel they're connected. Oh my gosh. I think she's ended up down in the little... the bit down the bottom. Right down where we were sitting. You know, where I'm sitting. Yeah. She's been caught up in there. She's been caught somewhere in one of the little crevices. That's what's gone on. And maybe that's why he's scared to come in then. Because he doesn't want to get trapped as well. Mm. Did, did she get out again or is this uh, a nasty ending? I don't think she's dead. I can't quite could, see it. Yeah. She's got caught whether or not they got her out. Not, nothing's actually coming forward to communicate, I don't feel, tonight. Uh -huh. It's no. like um, residual energy inbuilt in the, in the, in the fabric of yep. the rock. Mm. Um, it may be good to come back to, <coughs> to channel or meditate a bit more. We know where it is now. We know mm. there's a lot gone on here. I feel the two chaps in particular are, um Possibly, and there is a, there, what I was picking up before we got the little girl. There's a woman, a bit of a prostitute, actually, sort of type woman, who um, she was starting to come through. But we found the little girl, so she she went off again. 
but she was having a good old laugh and coming up I think she used to come up um, for the you know she knew that the, that the people the smugglers or whatever they were called the land used to be here so she used to try a hand to see if she could earn anything for the night but she was a bit of a prostitute uh, type but she started to come through a bit it would have been good it's getting dark now but mm -hmm. before we came I, I don't know if anybody saw like a W in the walls anywhere or a bit like a wiggly no all you've got is a skull and crossbones at that end but there's Was no there any markings, markings or tellings in any of these walls because what I got before I come here was like a duck. I don't say it was a W, it, but it's like that. It's like that, <coughs> like two lines going across. Um, but I never had a chance to sort of look round, but we may just see that next time. But there's definitely like, or, or the letter W's got big significance. I don't think anybody saw that. Yeah. I'll tell you what, at least that's kind of names or tally marks or dates but well somewhere it did say that <coughs> there's actually carvings of, or scratchings of yeah. um animals somewhere right yeah, okay so that would predate it to quite a few quite a long, long time, time ago, ago. Mm. i was picking i you know i it i don't know the history of this at all It just keeps going up and up and up. What was that? It's just a map. It's just going dizzy when I walk down. something down there. Maybe we found it there, isn't it? There's a W. Yes. There. Where did I say? There's yep. a W there. I've so got that, they told me. There's something next door of it. WP. I can't remember what names I said, but I said there'd be a W in here. Oh. Well done. <laughs> So the skull's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Can you need? No, I can see it. Oh, can you see it right? Yeah. And there's a word underneath it. It's H A H. There's something here though, but we can't make it out. And there's a, it's an A H A H, and there's something above it. There's a number above it. Is there? Yeah. I can see it on this. Oh. Uh, can you see it on there? Sorry. Yeah. You're right, Steve. Yeah. Oh, I lost it now, I had it a minute ago. Okay. To the left of the... I'm never going to have to show the torch. Yeah, that's definitely an H-A-H. -A -H -A -H. Mm. Um, and then you've got the skull. Oh, it's crossbones. Oh, is that me? Yeah, crossbones underneath it. What's that? There's something there, but I can't... I can't see it. There's more. You don't know if it's just weather. But it's yeah. like something going across there, right? I don't know. It's just, mind you. It's alright, mind you. It's fine. There's more than anything. I think we need helmets next time, don't we? <laughs> Where are we looking? Um, I don't know if it's just markings or just... I don't know. Yeah, I can't see nothing. It's sort of... I don't know. Maybe just... I don't know if it's animals are then. Yeah, yeah, stones. Stones. Oh, there's a nice skull there. Yeah, yeah. Paul's yeah. nice yeah. skull there. I wonder if this was um, the markings for when they um, yeah. did their booty, or is it w. later? Somebody just took it out. P or P, I'm not sure. Something where. here as well. Yeah, but there's all oh, kinds yeah. of right. Uh, 1965. No, 1965. Oh. Uh, w. 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 It's W W something. Isn't it? Something w, w, something w, w, day. Right. W H. 
I can't. W H A T. I don't know if that's a U. Healy, Healy, H E A Y. H A H A something or other. Yeah, H A. I'm not sure on that. That is really, big, quite, big quite, really hard to see. Yeah. There's something there as well. So right in front. Where is it gone? You've got two initials there. Yeah, I got an R and a. Something. Again, it could be quite recent. Yeah. Mm. Well, the skull is more or less a warning sign about going in the cave, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's got to be pirates or uh, smuggling. Mm. So in theory, there should be two out there. Mm. There's W. Skull. Mm. 